Hey guys! Um, so I posted a 60 second review of Tandem by Anna Jarzap, but I'm also going to do a longer review um, to talk more in detail about what I, what I liked and what I didn't like. But if you haven't read this book and you're planning to read it, then stop watching now because there's going to be spoilers. Just saying. Spoilers ahead. SPOILERS! Like I said in my 60 second review, this book was really interesting to me because it was kind of a different concept than anything else I've kind of read in the YA genre. It deals with uh, the uh, concept of parallel universes and how there's like an infinite number of parallel universes and how um, kind of the main storyline is along with um, what they call analog. The main character turns out to have um, an analog which is somebody who looks exactly like you in a different universe, um, and her analog is actually a princess of this other universe. She actually ends up having to go be transported into that universe and uh, take the place of the princess for a little while, um, and since they look exactly identical, um, no one suspects that there's anything different. Um, or anything suspicious. Storyline's kind of like how she deals with going into the new universe and being kind of chucked into a life that's not hers but it's kind of in a way sort of like hers and she's just exploring the um, similarities and differences between herself and the Princess Juliana which is the person that she's um, taken the place of. So I really enjoyed that concept. It's nothing like I've read it other um, ever read before. At first, I really didn't like Sasha because she just seemed like really, she was really annoying to me. She cried a lot at the beginning. It, she just seemed kind of like a weak protagonist, and I didn't really enjoy that. But um, as the story progressed and relationships developed, especially her relationship with Thomas, which I really enjoyed the progression of that because um, at the beginning. Um, it, you could tell that there was some animosity between them, and rightly so, because he took her out of her own life and brought her into this new place where she couldn't see her family and she couldn't, like, she couldn't escape. Like, she was trapped there and they were forcing her to do something that she didn't want to do. She was rightly <laughs> mad at him, and rightly, rightly so, but I thought that Anna Jarzab did a good, um, a good job of making the relationships, um, realistically complex. Like, um, sometimes books um, make relationships too one-sided or too flat, and I, I felt that um, this was more realistic because Sasha did experience um, times where she was confused about how she felt about Thomas. She was mad at him, but she also um, had- there was also things about him that she really liked and that she, um, like, admired. Over the time, there that relationship like um, developed, and it just it grew into something that I found to be pretty realistic, and um, more complex than most relationships that you see in novels. And I found that um, to be really refreshing, and I really enjoyed that. One thing that I didn't really enjoy was, um, especially at the beginning of the book, there's a lot of um, well, there is action, but there's some parts where it's just a lot of like info dump. So you're just like sitting there and you're reading it and you're like, like, you need the explanation, but it's just a little bit slow in times. It's not that it's boring, it's just a little bit slower and um, it's interesting and you need to know that stuff um, to get to understand the rest of the book. So I understand how it, um, why it's necessary, but yeah, so that would be one of the things that I wasn't so fond of about this book. But overall I gave it a 4 to 5 stars. At the end, I really enjoyed the characters, except I didn't really, um, I didn't really like the character of Juliana. There are chapters where little um, snippets of where Sasha goes into Juliana's mind and can see what she's doing. I didn't really like her. Like my first impression of her was that she's kind of, kind of not the nicest of characters, and I guess um, we didn't really see a lot of her in this book. So um, I'm looking forward to the sequel to kind of find out more about her, but um, yeah, I wasn't. I didn't really get a great first impression of her. I guess we just didn't see enough background on her um, to and the background of uh, Thomas's relationship with her. I think if we saw more about saw more of that, then we would have been able to um, kind of understand where she's coming from, what her what her um, 
decisions are based upon. Um, we kind of get a little bit um, about how she's feeling trapped in the castle and she wants uh, to be more free and she wants to be more um, free of her responsibilities and um, being recognized everywhere. Like, I get that, but um, a little bit more detail um, in regards to that would have been nice. But yeah, and uh, the ending, I it definitely wasn't what I was expecting. And I was expecting um, uh, Juliana to be sent back in Sasha's place, and I thought that would be an interesting um, opening for a sequel, and I guess I was kind of biased because I wanted Sasha and Thomas to stay together, but I guess that can't really happen in a first book of a series. There's gotta be something that they gotta fix. Yeah, so I was kind of hoping that they would still be together by the end of the book. I also really did in, really did like how they um, brought back uh, Grant at the end of the book, which is uh, who is Thomas's analog, um, and because throughout the whole book, they they um, Sasha has uh, feeling guilt about how um, Grant um, was taken against his will, like for her sake, like. She felt like it was her fault that he um, got taken out of his life. I, I thought it was a really good, um, it kind of tied it up, they got they both got sent back to Earth, but at the same time Sasha didn't really want to be there, But and, and now Grant knows about um, the parallel universes, so I'm wondering how that's going to play out, and I'm um, thinking that Grant's going to become a more um, prominent character in the next book. and. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting to see how um, the whole analog situation works out and if they're going to switch back and forth, if um, Julianne is going to come to Earth, if how Sasha's going to get back to Thomas. And I'm definitely going to read the second book in the series and I really enjoyed this book. Like I said, I gave it four to five stars and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something different. The cover is just beautiful. And I like how they... Um, kind of combined the idea of the sparrow, because Juliana's uh, secret name that they, the army, the, um, the KES uses is the, the sparrow. Um, so putting her face in the sparrow um, silhouette was kind of witty. I, I like that. Yeah, I really enjoyed this book, and if you've read it, let me know what you thought of it, and if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and... We can have a conversation together, because conversations are fun! I like talking about books, so let's do that. Let's talk about books. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, have a nice day. See you later.